Welcome back to Love 500, welcome back to the How To series. Today we're going to show you how to change a seatbelt, or how to take a seatbelt out anyway. I'm taking the seatbelt out, I'm not putting it back in. This is a car that I'm breaking up for spares, but as you can hear, it would have been changed had I not been doing that because the seatbelt makes a lot of noise. There's various reasons why your seatbelt might be broken. This one I'm not going to keep, obviously it's going to be thrown away, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. So the camera might be a bit wobbly to start off with because I need to show you where the screws are that you need to undo. So I've taken the back seats out, so the back seats do have to come out unfortunately. Now that bolt there, I would suggest that you leave in. That bolt goes to the outside world. If you've got one of these, you stand a be much better chance of getting that out and back in again because it tends to go rusty at the ends because it goes to the wheel, the back wheel arch. So you can change a seat belt by releasing the rest of this panel and just bending it back out of the way. It gives you enough room to get a, a spanner in there to undo it. But I'm going to show you how to do it the proper way because I've already done it like this. I don't normally do it like this. I normally leave that bolt behind and leave that panel on, but I'm going to show you how to do it the proper way. So I've also taken off this panel, which if you look at the, uh, how to, no, I didn't put it on the back seats one, did I? So that panel has to come off as well. Uh, you've got the support where the um, back shelf goes on. There's a screw there and then there's another screw on it just there. And then it just pulls off on poppers. So once that's off, that comes out and then we go down to here. So the kick panel down here, you've got a Phillips screw there, the one Phillips screw there, undo that. I'm doing this one-handed, so it's a little bit awkward. So once you take that off, you can then get hold of that and just lift it out of the way. It doesn't need to come right off. You then got two more screws here, one there, undo that he says slowly with one hand All right, that's that one out and then there's another one down here just there you can see there's a lot of sand in this car this car came from Blackpool someone's obviously been down the beach I'm just going to put the camera, no I'm not, I was going to put the camera down but I won't, because it's nearly out. Right, <laughs> a bit slow but there you go, right that's that out. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to get a crosshead screwdriver, which I've got here somewhere, bear with, bear with, there it is. Uh, and on here you have a crosshead screw, if you put a screwdriver in there, Turn the screw, and that bit pops off. So that's the pretensioner down there. Now you need to get this off. So under there you've got a bolt, which I believe is a, what size is it? 17? Yeah, that's a 17 mil bolt on there. I'm gonna put you on a tripod now, because uh, it's difficult to do this all one-handed and show you what I'm doing as well. So it's just gonna go on tripod. Okay, so this bolt here, Undo that, take it out. Doesn't take much. And then that panel, let me zoom out a little bit. That panel, then it's come off. Now it's held on by two poppers at the bottom. Oh, so actually no, sorry. Next thing you've got to do is uh, pull off the, not take it off completely, but the door rubber. It just needs to come out like that. Again, push it out of the way. Then you need to get your fingers behind it if you can, if you can't use a tool. This one's quite tight actually. I think this has been off before this one and someone's glued it on or something because it feels really tight. Oh no, maybe not. There we go. No, it's come off. So you've got poppers. So that just pushes in and then you've got two poppers there. Now I'm just checking the camera again to make sure you can see. And then we've got another screw just here obviously I'm letting these drop on the floor because I'm not putting this back again but obviously once you get these screws out put them somewhere safe so you can get back in again just a Phillips screw right that 
is the only screws you have to undo. Now this panel has to come off. So what we do is we grab hold of it and yank it. And there you have it, it comes off. Now you have to feed your seat belt through there. I'm gonna put you back down again. Excuse the camera work. Feed the uh, seat belt through. Like so. Whoops. Once you feed that through, if you are taking that panel off, you can move it out of the way, like I've done there. You've got the seat belt. So, seat, seat belt reel, which is for some bizarre reason very noisy. Ah, this seat belt I've just noticed has been repaired somehow. Normally, if you repair a seat belt, you see those holes at the end there you put a resistor in there. Now I had no warning lights up on this car, but there's no resistor in there. So someone has bodged that. I don't know how they're getting that to work and not throw up an airbag light. That's really weird. Very weird. Because that needs to be plugged into there. And it normally is. Somehow, they've managed to get around it. We'll, uh, we'll look at that a little bit in more detail. So to get the seat belt itself out, again, is it a 17mm? I think so. Yep, 17mm socket on there. And that just comes out. Like so. There you go. That's out. And then putting it back is exactly the same. You just hook it on there like that. You've got a little hook on the top and a little gap. Hook it on there do the bolt up and then feed it back through the same way and then you will have obviously on a on a good car you'll have to plug that back, that back in so we're going to throw that one away because it's of no use whatsoever i'll take the bits off of it that are any good and then down here you have your pre-tensioner now often with the pre-tensioners what will usually happen if the car's been in a crash and the seat belts have gone this metal cable here will be pulled through all the way through here so this piece will be tight against the bottom now that is no good that means it's blown sometimes even if it looks like that if it's been in an accident but this hasn't deployed the electronics of it are still gone so it may still come up when you do a diagnostics as being uh, an error um, as far as i know as i say there were no lights up on this car so as far as i know this is okay that doesn't really explain that but as far as I know, that's uh, that's okay. So I'll be taking that out, and again, 17 mil bolt. Easy as that, one bolt. Disconnect that connection, uh, and then that's it. You're done. Now that bit in there, uh, that is the crash side crash impact sensor. So that will send a signal to the airbag ECU, which will then tell the ECU whether it needs to fire the seatbelt and the pretensioner, one or the other, or both. Um, so that uh, is about it. So that, there's a 10mm bolt on that that you can just uh, undo that one. That will do that now, seeing as I've got a spanner here, or rather a drill here with a 10mm bit on it. Quite tight. Well, there we go. There you go. So I can keep that bit. Actually, I'd, yeah, I probably can keep that bit. Even though someone has done something to that, I don't quite know what, how they've got around that. It's really weird. So that's it. So that's basically how you take a seatbelt off of a Fiat 500. It makes no difference whether you've got a 2008 car or a 2019 stroke 20 car. It's exactly the same inside. The seatbelts are exactly the same. Uh, the seatbelts will fit in any car. It doesn't matter what seatbelts you get, whether it's a pop, a lounge, a sport, and our bath, they're all the same. They're all the same. They all fit in the same way and they're all able you know they don't throw up any errors or anything like that so that's it so again thanks for watching i hope this uh, video has proved uh, entertaining and useful to you uh, this is love 500 this is the how-to series thanks for watching please like share and subscribe 
give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video it really helps the channel out and take a look at our other videos um, we've got some playlists now we're starting to put together playlists so we've got a playlist of how-to videos with numerous things of how to do uh, and there's also some other playlists of cars uh, which we're repairing or have repaired I should say so uh, again thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it see you again soon